Oh, oh, there we go. Got the mic going. All right. Hey, guys. What's going on? Um, hopefully, everyone's doing all right today. Um, yeah. So, Sukuno of Rice and Ruin uh, comes out of Switch, PS4 next week. Um, I've heard really good things about it. Looks fantastic. Uh, it looks like a mix between Muramasa and Rune Factory or Harvest Moon. Uh, it's like an action farm sim platformy kind of game, it looks like. So, um, it's it, it's different. I'll give it that much. And I want to see how it is. So, I, I like when genres kind of combine themselves a little bit. Uh, and try something different, like we saw with uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, uh, Like a Dragon, excuse me, um, which I played on my last stream. It's more or less kind of like a combination of, hey, here's a series that's always been like, you know, real time beat 'em up, and here is now it's now an art like a turn based RPG. It was different. Um, it's more story based. Um, so I like when games like this, so the idea kind of go, okay, well, let's blend, you know, uh, 2.5D side scrolling action with like farm sim elements and see how it turns out so um game looks beautiful by the way um art style graphically wise uh, i just want to go into the options i want to see languages for those of you who are concerned with languages um i can't read that i do apologize um so it seems like there's, there's quite a bit, few, few, quite a bit, a few language options there. Um, let's check out the game real quick. Ah, so it's you know, combat difficulty, farming difficulty. Um, you can always display your headgear, masks, whether it's at home or in events. I want to always display it. Are you kidding me? There you go. Controls. Quick attack, heavy attack, fighting skills, jump. I don't know what Ryman's is. I'm not quite sure what that means. Guess we'll find out. Alright, so let's start this up. So, anybody who's watching, chat's open if you'd like to uh if you'd like to uh join in on the chat. I tend to read it out and respond, so let's see how this is. Again, it's, this this is like a action side scrolling 2.5D um, mixed with uh, side scroller mixed with like farm sim elements, so it's kind of like, it looks like Muramasa meets, you know, Rune Factory or Harvest Moon or whatnot. By what means do you ascend to this place? Here, turn back! Turn back! Turn back! <clears throat> uh, you do realize I am speaking, yes? Yonder lies the lofty realm, the realm of the gods. It is no place for humans. Hoy! What part of turn back eludes you? So, ah, I finally found you. You have a chance of skipping it, I guess, in the cutscenes. No so don't press A. On this mountain. It's time to Except for here. Up. You won't get away from me this time, Katsura. Ishimaru, why have you chased us this far? A dunce like you probably wouldn't understand. We're at our wits' end, too. I can't let those kids go. And you, traitor, you need to die. Then I shall steal myself, if I must. Could you look any more pathetic? I can't believe you're a samurai. Whatever. Just die. What? Princess, what are you doing in a place like this? I will not allow this. Return at once, Prince. The hell? What's going on? Whoa! Hmm? Oh, please, do carry on. You needn't let me interrupt you. Still, how fascinating. Are you humans? You are, aren't you? To cross 
swords immediately upon entering the lofty realm. What a barbaric display. Go on then, get on with it. The day of tribute is such a bore. All there is to do is drink until my turn comes around. But today, my little jaunt has been rewarded with the most unexpected encounter. <laughs> uh, my princess, you mustn't associate with such... Uh, there's no need to fret. I'll return soon. <laughs> Quite the luxurious getup. Ooh, you're most perceptive for a ruffian. Splendid, isn't it? The peak of elegance. It demonstrates my status magnificently, don't you think? Oh, you reek of sake. I thought you were a kid. Uh, how dare you! I am a hale and hearty adult! End. Smash Brothers is huh. still right there. The sting of that horrible comment sobered me right up. I suppose I'll return to the banquet and reacquaint myself with the joy of intoxication. Children of men, ahead lies the domain of the gods. Turn back before the bridge vanishes. If you don't, your safety cannot be guaranteed. Or... <laughs> I guess she's uh, of rice and ruin. That child has incredible strength. She mentioned a banquet. If we follow her, we might find something to eat. Or farm it. Because it's part farm sim. Mihoshira Cat. Mihoshira? Mihoshira. A lot of games coming out actually I have to say in the last year or so or coming up in the next year or this cop this holiday <laughs> season that are I can make that look really good year using only the rice to have on hand at home how splendid it is to be a high-ranking noble and as usual it's not a surprise and it is, is a shame so? that they're not I getting so much attention put forth every effort I hope that lady Kamuhitsuki will acknowledge me this year so I hope to kind of give it a little bit more attention to my small audience out there too bad so sad you can't change the rank you're born into. Ah, oh, feudalism. Ah, I know. My dear friend Kokoroa, I'll bestow upon you the honor of helping me. Is that a dog? The more you appear before Lady Kamuhitsuki, the more likely she'll be to remember you. <laughs> right. Then, if you would be so kind. My princess, please desist from this japery. You must fulfill your own vital duty. Tama the dog can talk, and then he spits out his tongue. When you return to your seat, you must not lose yourself in drink again. <laughs> looks so ridiculous after You're he talks. You're so bothersome, Tama. <laughs> Being drunk has no bearing on my ability to fulfill my duty. It's child's play for... Huh? Uh-oh. Where do you think you're going? I'm not finished speaking with... Sorry, Tana. I was wrong. I'll sober up and get to work. I'll be right back. Oh, my princess. So you finally learned to heed my words. It's just funny hey, how his tongue sticks out after every sentence he speaks. Ugh. This is not good. This is not good. Never mind my duty. I'm going to be in the hot water if the children of men wander in here. I you must catch them quickly. Uh, I won't let you escape. Hold still. Oh, tutorial. There we go. Jump. Check. Jump. Hit. No, I can't hit. Okay, so it's only on like a single plane. Oh, and all? R? Oh. I'm pressing R. Z R, excuse me. Don't you 
underestimate me, fool. I am a god. Oh, okay, so I can do these like diagonals. That's pretty dope. How would I ever jump then? <laughs> because I used this all day. Actually, can I get up to this? Yeah, I can. Hey, hey. I wonder if there's like hidden stuff anywhere. Ah, okay, so they basically tell you, like, you can jump off the wall, then. Okay, you just gotta hold it there, jump, and then do it again. Okay. Okay, so we get this back now. Okay. Sweet. Oh, what'd I gain there? Stone stones, I guess. Over here. I want to kill the enemy. Not for the enemy. I didn't even catch their damage meter for a second. I can see the voices getting annoying eventually. With the same repetitive dialogue. I think they gotta cut back on that just a little bit, I think. What's up, Gabby? How are you? I mean, it looks really cool. It reminds me a lot of Muramasa, how it looks. The music in this stage is just silly, which is fantastic. Because you're just chasing after a group of people that came into your realm, so. But I want to get to the farm sim, farming sim part of this. So it's like a side-scrolling action platformer with like farm sim elements. So it's like more, like I said, it's like Muramasa meets Rune Factory, or like Harvest Moon. You've done it now. I shall etch a painful reminder of your hubris upon your lowly human soul. Okay, so where's my of rice in ruin? I want to see this. Not the rice. No, and, no wait. Uh, the alcohol and oil in here could swiftly embroil the whole place in flames. Your gods, put it out. Bright. Okay. Mm, there we go. What was that loud noise? I smell something fragrant. I love how Hitama's tongue sticks out after every sentence he speaks. Princess Sakuna. Y yes. You have been blessed with favor as the daughter of the great warrior god Takaribi. Yet even so. You have obliterated the Divine Garner, along with the offerings I was to receive. Oh. Alas, what have you done? I... I... Uh, oh, please forgive me! It was all their fault! Oh. Let me she gets God banished. mustn't blame their crimes on humans. <laughs> now then, children of men, Identify yourselves. I am Katsura Uemon no Jo Takamori. The people call me Taemon. I'm Kinta. Who are you? The head hey, honcho or something? Petrified with fear because our mouths aren't moving. I don't like it here. Please send us back home. I'm Mirte, and this is. Ah! Kaimuru! We gods and you humans are of two realms. That is to say, the natural order divides us betwixt the lofty realm and the lowly realm. Betwixt. Nevertheless, the floating bridge of heaven which you crossed has the, already the, the disappeared. Even I, the preeminent goddess Kamohitsuki, do not know when it will next appear. Therefore, until it does, 
You are to help Princess Sakuna rectify the disorder left in the wake of your bedlamin. Rectify? Meaning... Princess Sakuna, do you recall the Isle of Demons? It is the outlying island where your parents met and defeated the evil god Omizuchi. That tumultuous land has long been a nest of demons and has yet to fall under my control. You are to investigate the origin of the ceaseless horde of demons as you expunge them from the island. Hmm. But, but that's... I beg your pardon, Lady Kamihitsuki, but the Isle of Demons is entirely too far away. Reaching it alone will take me days. And? Did you expect to commute from here? You will establish a foothold on the Isle and see to your orders from there. Until then, you are banished, banished. from the capital. <laughs> You are banishing us? Truly? My word is law. That is all. Now be gone. <laughs> Banished. Come, princess. Let us go. It's because you screwed up. Now you're gonna make your own alcohol. You suck it. I hate this. Why is she dancing? I hate it! I hate it! Supposed to be mad. You are too old to be throwing a tantrum. What is done is done. Let us carry out our mission and return to the capital post haste. Sakuna. Kogurawa. I refuse to go with those humans. I wish to stay here with you. I too will be lonely without you. Sir, may I? By all means. Descendant of the capital's greatest warrior god. However, this might actually be good for her. Raised here in luxury, the princess has wanted for nothing and has grown accustomed to relying on her parents' wealth. Does his tongue stick out after he speaks? It's I pray I love that, that she learns much in the course of the hardships that undoubtedly await her. Please take care of Sakuna for me. I will guard her with my life. Goodbye, Sakuna. I'm sad, but a little relieved as well. I wonder why that is. Because she's a pain in the ass. Nah, we'll see what happens. Sakuna now should be of rice and ruin. We now have our rice and ruin. Um, do we have to watch the sequence, the loop sequence, or can I skip this? Okay, skip it. Yeah. Hmm. Dragon's Tunnel, Hidden Cove. My muscles cry out. Listen, you. Me and the samurai here are the ones who rode the whole time. I feel like my arms are gonna fall off. Now, now, it's all right. So, Lady Sakuna, what should we do now? Good question. I'll petition the old man. Old man! Hey, Tama! Are you sleeping? <sighs> Uh, so, we've arrived at last. Uh, this is undoubtedly the Isle of Demons. You truly are an old fart. You were clearly listening, so hurry and explain our next objective. Hmm. I believe this cave continues to the heart of the Isle, at which point it unfolds into a mountain pass. At its peak is the house where your mother lived. Uh, let us head there first. Okay, so her parents met and I guess gave birth to Sakuna huh. on this Isle of Demons. Okay, got it. All right. Mosey along, children of men. Yo! Uh, not you. You're a bit too young. Kaimaru is with me. 
What about the rest oh, did I get these car as a moving? weapon? Let's pick her up and start swinging her around. That'd be fantastic. Because the aisle's full of demons, huh? Yui's right. Aren't gods supposed to protect us humans? Ugh, you cheeky little twerp. You're called Taoimon, correct? Is that sword at your hip a mere ornament? <laughs> My humblest apologies. This blade may be of ancient and noble descent, but I myself have utterly no skill in swordplay. Once, when I drew it in dire circumstances, the handle slipped from my fingers. Mm, princess... All right, fine. I shall go by myself. Then we will follow your lead. Oh, you can put it on low, or you can put it on default. So they let you select the difficulty in this, at this part. And you can change it apparently in the options menu, as we looked at before I started the game, so... That's nice of them. So you can just focus on one part of the game if you like. Okay, so... I wonder if I get different like combos. Obviously, I'm gonna get different weapons. So. Ooh, I guess I can pick that. Is there a defense button or like? Oh, there is L. Okay. No, it's not. What is the defense? Is there a defense button or am I just crazy? Huh. Oh. Okay, down. Yeah. Oh. oh, I attack with a hoe. I just realized that. Oh, being acquired. Right, be? Once you've got itty bitty legs, you can dash. And you can actually control it with the D pad also, which is a nice uh, little improvement right there. Oh, cool. So it's, like, it's not like you just hit it once and disappears, like, it looks like different uh, little. Uh, things in the level can be hit more than once. That's a little there. Oh, why was he going right, right there? Nice. There you go. Oh, I killed him. I got pork. Cool. So I guess different enemies give you different things. I'm gonna go down. Or like, yeah, I'm gonna go down. So now I'm using the D pad. I was just wondering what the door is there, so I just gotta go back, I guess. Backtrack! Again, this is on PlayStation 4 as well. I'm just playing the, the Switch version. So, hello, Ariana. How you doing? Go really well. I just feel like the strong attacks are a little bit delayed and uh, need to be a little stronger. Not strong, I shouldn't say stronger, they seem to be performed a little quicker. But it flows pretty well, like the, the attacks flow very well. Combat is okay. I like this though. Just gonna get used to the length. Maybe the length actually grows. 
over time with like a skill up uh, upgrade. Like I can reach that a little farther just by standing there. I'm not gonna reach it from standing. I have to jump and then hit it. Identify yourself. You are not a demon. Are you a servant of Kamohitsuki? Whoever you are, you will rot here for all eternity. What did you just say? How dare you threaten me, a high-ranking noble! Uh, princess, please... Do not interfere, old man! Keep your distance! Bear witness to the legacy of the Ashigumo. Look again! Take that! I see right through You're you! You're out of here! <laughs> Look again! Turn around! You can't escape! <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's actually a good call, Mark. Uh, I have not played Elysium in a while. I just wish there was like a counter button, like a block or something kind of button. Because he's going to start obviously changing his attacks. And they only taught me basic attacks and not combos or any kind of special moves. They're just like, oh, hit a direction, hit up, or, you know, any direction you point. The D-pad or the analog game will give you a different attack, strong or light attack. So, what is this? Utterly Earthquake? adorable. Wow. And a ferocious one at that. Thank you, Ariana, for the pun. Where are you skulking off to? We are not done here. He's so weak. Uh, so beat him up, no weasel. problem. I love how Tom in the background, his tongue sticks out, we and then he talks and his tongue goes back out again. Fantastic. I just love how like like certain games are just silly in re in, in uh, certain regards. Like when I was playing Yakuza Like a Dragon, excuse me, turn the mic there. Um, it just the humor is just really funny, um, and then it just gets really serious really fast. So it's kind of like kind of catches you off guard a little bit. Where am I supposed to go? Let me go to the dragon tunnel. That's cool. Has an overlying map. There's plenty of places to visit, apparently, as we saw all of the all of stuff there. Where am I supposed to go? Mountain Pass. It looked like it was pointing. I'm sorry. I'm I'm stupid. So it looked like it was pointing up at that section. And now it's a 3D. You. How did you Platform. get here? Huh? What do you mean? This mountain pass is enchanted with a spell that disorients would-be interlopers. Only those who know about the pass already are able to reach hey, this worry. place. And the one armed with that knowledge... I want to get to the farming simple portion of this game. Me. What a surprise. If it isn't Takaribi's blade familiar. We mistakenly crossed blades with you earlier, but we have no quarrel with nice. you. Stay your hand. This yeah, is my master, yeah. Lord Takaribi's yeah. daughter, that, I, that's Princess a good call. Sakuna. Completely forgot about that. Owing to unfortunate circumstances, we are impelled to take up residence on this isle. Is the house still here? Yes, I'm still taking care of it. So you're acquainted? You should have said! I seem to recall you rushing ahead without heeding me once again. We can talk at length later. Right. If we don't go fetch the others, they'll never find this place. I'm delighted that you figured that out. You know, sometimes I wonder if you're mocking me. So... Oh, is this a farming sim part? Looks like a farming plot. So yeah, basically, if you're just joining, slightly damaged but in surprisingly uh, good condition. This is like a side scroller action farming sim combination. You are Combo? called Ashigumo, correct? Yes, the the art sounds really nice. The evil god Omizuchi, who your parents battled here, also. I think the bench is pretty cool. Tribe. 
Your father, Lord Takaribi, gave them strength and wisdom, and they triumphed over Omizuchi together. Huh. So that's why Omiz Omizuchi. Quite the honor, I, I dare say. It's so funny because in like uh, Yakuza, they mentioned the Omi also. It's the Omi clan. I know it's different, but Omi again. You've toiled long and hard, and that I can see. You have none other than Takaribi's daughter at your side. I cannot refuse. This must be fate. Let us aid one another. Now that we have a house, I shall convalesce. And whatever we want? Like what? Princess, this is no time for a royal nap. There may be a storm out here. If you sleep your days away as you did in the capital, you will starve ere summer comes. And as long as the demons rule this island, your divinity dictates that you must be the one to act, my princess. You're telling me to go out at night? Yeah, I'm gonna get some uh, stuff together and play. Strengthening your foot farm. Day by day. Moreover, you and this land share the tea base for you to begin your journey. If not a royal nap, couldn't I at least royally procrastinate until tomorrow? Goddess, should we plant something in this field? Yes. That is a splendid idea. <laughs> but first, we must find some seeds. I have some rice husks right here. My word. How terribly convenient. Why would you walk around with such a thing? Are you not a samurai? I was born into a family of warriors, but my focus is on field work, not the sword. I have kept these husks with me ever since I left home. It stoops to becoming a bandit. Hmm. Wouldn't millet be easier to start off with? No. Rice might prove to be just the ticket. And ruin. My princess has inherited abilities from both Takaribi, the warrior god, and Toyohana, the harvest goddess. <laughs> As such, her powers are greatly affected by the five grains, and particularly by rice. We plant rice. Sakuna grows strong, yes? Indeed. It will become easier to drive the demons back. By growing rice, we can fill our bellies and reduce the demon population in one stroke. Two birds with one stone, as it were. Then it shall be so. Lady Sakuna will go hunt. We'll stay here and plant the rice. Uh, we've got to help, too. No work, no food, I guess. I will help, too. Hey, bye -bye. Oh, wait. I haven't had a say in this. Taoemon, I expect great things from you. Give it your all out there in the fields. Your trust will not go misplaced. <sighs> oh. Hey. Hmm. I already got it some food though, so I can just give it to them. Hmm. Oh ho! -ho. Okay, so quests. Okay, so now we see the quests. Got to catch snails, I guess. In no way is not in past. They call this place the Isle of Demons, but the demons themselves appear laughably weak. If they do show their sorry faces, I 
like to give them a good beating. Honestly, I don't know why it came to this. Okay. Is there anything else I can pick? Nothing. I can pick everything else by the river. I guess we'll by the river, yeah. Make sure I got everything. So we're just gonna go through the cavern. This is probably gonna be side scrolling action. Gather some supplies, go back, find some stuff, and take out the demons. Natural cures required. Hey, there we go. Certain striking certain spice and terrain will cause items. Oh, play. Nice. It's a very uh, World of Warcraft looking kind of thing where it's kind of sparkly. Oh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't even that one. Uh, see, the one thing I like is that the things don't go fighting, so weapons don't go. Relatively easy once you get used to the uh, combat. Okay. So again, like, can I do like a dash attack in, in air? That'd be nice. Bird meat, bird meat. Yeah, see, if I can run a little faster, that'd be nice. No, I don't want That's actually nice. So if I go too far into somewhere, I can just return to the world map. Or if I'm anywhere in there, I can return back to the world map. Sweet. That's a nice little inclusion. I like that. Instead of having to run all the way back, or just like die, and then get te teleported back to the entrance. Welcome back, goddess. Oh. Hmm? Did something happen? Personally, I'm exhausted, but... 
go see the old camera. He's by the shed. I have a bad feeling about this. My intuition is always Okay, if I had a mini map, or pointing me in the direction of the objective, which I'm not complaining about, because I don't mind that, but in open games like this, you need some kind of direction. You're trying to make us starve to death, you big doofus! Kinta, getting angry is bad. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm so sorry. Ah, I'm so ticked off! You're making quite a fuss. What in the world happened? This dingus lost all the seeds in the water! What? Does that mean we cannot grow rice? All that's left is this small handful. The rest is... Apparently, he's only ever watched farmers, and hasn't ever done a lick of farming himself! Ugh, this chump is dead weight! I thought you said we could trust you! How do you plan to fix this? It pains me to say so, but in truth, I lack not only the skill to fight, but any sort of manual skill at all. I adore farm work, and yet I am inept at it. I only got in the way of the farmers. I assumed I was the only one here who knew anything about planting rice, so I was inspired to succeed for once, but... Oh, I brought dishonor upon myself. To make amends, I shall slice open my belly and... That is quite unnecessary. Stop! Stop right there! You're gonna die? Do it someplace where we don't have to watch it bleed out! Oh. No one wishes for you to die. We were merely asking what we're going to do for food. Having one less mouth to feed certainly can't hurt, though. He's enough for five people. I mean, how greedy can you get? Stop, enemy. Why do you hurt Tawiman? Tawiman is nice. He only made mistake. I am not Yanato person, but I understand. That is not the right way to act. Okay, okay. I cannot argue after being scolded by a person who is not of this land. Your name's Mirte, then? For your sake, we shall make peace. This evening, we shall all feast on the meat I gathered and turn in early. That goes for you as well, Shorty. <laughs> oh! What is it this time? I am good cook. Today I will make meal from my country. It will be so good. Oh, okay. A dish from your country, you say? I do not know where you hail from, but I'll look forward to it nonetheless. I shall give this meat to you then. Cook us up something good. Okay, I will try hard. Okay, so she's to cook for the, all the meat you gather. Charred lump. What's on the menu now? What is okay. this? Oh, a shivering. Oh, happiness is a full belly. I'm stuffed. Thanks. Disgusting. It was good. Sakuna, the leftover seeds have managed to sprout. It's finally time to plant them, but... Have you got a handle on it this time? I tend to get a bit carried away and end up crushing the seedlings and destroying the paths. That sounds like quite the mess. I think that goes beyond merely being inept. Hey, Tama, what are you looking at? You're not thinking of putting me to work again, are you? Just consider how ridiculous it would be for a harvest goddess to plant the very rice she receives as an offering. No, it's not strange in the least. Our country's harvest goddess is abundantly energetic. Your mother, Lady Toyohana, worked the fields every year. As does the preeminent goddess, Lady Kamuhitsu. Are you serious? Even the noble Lady Kamuhitsu mucks about in rice patties? Surely you jest. Be that as it may, we cannot entrust our continued livelihood to the children of men. Most are but women and children, after all. Do not worry. I'm sure you will excel. 
You are none other than Lady Toyohana's descendant, after all. I am confident in my knowledge of the process, at least. I'll teach you how to do it. Don't act all high and mighty after what you did yesterday! <laughs> I'm assuming I have to let the water drain so I can plant. actually quite fun, Mark. Um, it, it's a fun game. It just felt, you know, it, it's definitely in vain of Cobra Kai. If you, the humor, the music's fantastic, the voice acting is good. Certain animations and the cutscenes just look ridiculous. They gotta cut that out. Just use, like, cutouts. Um, that would be fine. Um, for me, I the game, if you played, like, a beat em up like Streets of Rage 4, um, it doesn't flow as well as that, but they do a lot of interesting things with the separate characters switching out and skill trees, expanding of your attacks. Um, again, just like with any of the game mill entertainment games that came out in the last month or so, it's just little tweaks that can make the game just that much better. Um, and it's a good game. It's, it's fun, in my opinion. Just little things they can improve on, and that would make it better. That's annoying because I have to hold down Y to plant it. Instead of just pressing Y, it so usually kind of just goes like this. It just has a seizure. And it's just like, what? Why do I have to hold Y? Just let me plant it. I'm just going to plant all of them. Oh, yeah, okay, plant, plant every season in the soil. So, for me, Cobra Kai is also worth the price. It's not a full $60 game, I believe it's 40 at time of release. So, not bad. If you want to wait and see if it's on sale, that's totally up to you. Um, but I would definitely recommend picking it up. And it's got co-op mode, um, so there's that, which is pretty cool. Uh, each character has, like, a different you know, skill set, and, and, uh, acts, you know, is, is a bit different in terms is of, like, attacking. Okay? It has, like, Please special attacks and ultimate attacks and whatnot, so it's, it's a very cool, it's a very good game. You just gotta improve on a couple of things, and it'll be, like, right there. You just gotta make the game flow a little better, in terms of, like, in between movement, and, and stop letting the, uh, and cut back on the enemies having, like, really cheesy, unbreakable attacks. So, if you watch the video, you'll see what I talk about as I play the game. But this game so far, Sukuna, Sukuna is actually pretty fun. No. <laughs> yes. No, I'm not free to hunt and plant as I wish. Cool. Assuming that there's a, there's a quest here.
Righteous Fury has rendered her speechless. Okay. Right on. Oh, so we can build a forge and we can craft weapons. Okay. Hey! That's what it seems like, at least. Well, that's why we got the clay. Okay. Oh, it's manure. I think it's, I guess it's manure. Hurry and take root! Okay, let me show you here. See if I can pick up anything. Again, a mini map in this part would be fantastic so I know where the heck I'm going. Not plums. Not a frog. Not a frog here. Not plums. Plums. Hey. Oh, I'm going go inside. Yay! <sighs> okay. Right. Okay, so like I said, I, you give the ingredients to her and she'll start making the stuff. certain amount and then I can come back? I guess so. That was pretty good. Not long at all. Hey, bamboo. I guess, is that like a weapon? Okay, so I have a lot of stuff here. switch between the uh, objectives is just pretty cool. I wish you could do that on screen though because you have all these different buttons here. So like why don't you just have a button where I can flip you know the objectives on screen that'll move off screen to the left and bring up another objective that I can track. That would actually that would be pretty cool that would be a pretty cool addition outside of uh, a mini map I think. So I'm not really using ZL in this section, so why don't you just let me flip to another objective track, uh, objective tracking. Alright, let me go to the world map. Anything else open? Hmm. 
I just want to see if I can explore a little more, because there was a door there. Maybe I can open that door, maybe I can't open that door, I don't know. I mean, it did say before the mushroom was spoiled, so... I only have a certain amount of time to get things back to... Ah, I forget her name. Or the cook. Down here. There's another part, probably. Around Hollow Out of Cinder. Okay. So, obviously, I need something to open that door. So, I'm happy to get probably. Do I have to hold? Yeah, I gotta hold it so I can basically grapple them. Certain games, um, is they don't focus on the enemy in front of you. Which means that it, I had the same problem in Cobra Kai also in certain parts where you're surrounded by enemies, but you figure that the game would be programmed to go like, oh, the enemy's facing behind me, automatically attack behind me. Or at least as the closest person. Or the closest enemy. Um. Yeah, it seems a little silly to me. But... Registering hits. What was that? Okay, so I'm gonna get some of them. Wood, there we go. Right. Let me go back to the world map. Let me see if I have to go back to that cave again. There's nothing else for me to explore yet. I mean, I have obviously all these places I can possibly go, most likely. Like I said, the loading is very quick. So. There's not much lag between things to do, which is good. I suppose you can run a little faster. If you had a dash. I'm like a stamina meter at least, so I can you know, at least dash a little faster. If you notice, I was only doing like one damage to the enemies at the end of that cave. Yes. 
So it's a training kit. Cool. Is that so? Hmm. Good grief. some scrolls. I'm assuming it'll teach me some different attacks and skills. Nice. Okay. So, these are items, but do I use them, or do they just automatically give me a Okay, so there's a combo. Alright, cool. Yeah, so they do... I do get combos. How do I read these? Okay, cool. Um, I guess they're just there in your inventory? Gotta explain that a little more. Shed to sleep, I think. I give my gratitude for this meal. <laughs> It was good. I'm gonna rest until morning, see what happens. Okay, so it says it's spoiled, so what am I supposed to do with it? Like, how am I, spo am I supposed to just give it to her? supposed to put it in storage? Like, I'm confused. Like, what am I supposed to do here?
little bit confused because things keep spoiling, but am I supposed to save them somewhere? I don't understand. Giving a hint, so put it up to for enough water to merge your ankles. So. So it's letting the gate take up the water. Okay. I don't think I got that down. I see there's obtained stone and clay and where else could I go? Training quarters. So, I can't zoom out either, I just think. I can't go far, I don't have anything else unlocked. I'm gonna go in here again, see what else I can get out of this. I'm just a little confused, because when I collect the meat, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Like, I can't cook it or anything. Am I supposed to just give it to the cook, but it won't let me? I'm just a little confused on that, because it says it spoils, but where am I supposed to keep it? You gotta tell me that game. I'm pretty sure I didn't lose anything on it, so... Or at least not that told me. Oh, I can now go to the skipping zone. Oh, sweet. So I guess I gotta finish objectives and then it unlocks areas for me. Because you notice, like when I be what before I went to the level, it gave me like, oh, these are four things that you have to complete. So I guess if I complete those, it does. Then it um, unlocks specific things like areas for me to go through. Okay, that makes sense. It would be nice if it told me that though. They want to let's see. You know. It's annoying that I just kind of wing myself over, like away from the enemy. But I just press it again to stop getting attached to it. I don't know. Anyway. Focus on the enemy? That'd be great. 
Because like, trying to get these fly hit these flying sparrows is annoying. Because they're in the air. But if I keep doing this, it just keeps like winging me around. Like, it'd be nice if I could just like pull it closer to me. Oh, this is where I get the stone, obviously. It's called Skipping Stone Hill. Now, what are the level objectives? So, can I see that in the quest uh, area? If I go to the quests... A high power lies dormant within your equipment. You can release its abilities under certain conditions. Releasing a piece of equipment's true, true power will increase its attributes. You may also discover new uses for your equipment. Why not give it a try? Select the equipment Y and release its power. No, oh, just raises the attack weapon for this one. By five. These special powers are sealed within stones called spirit bows, bows. If you chance upon them on your travels, infuse them into your tools. Now, oh, demon pig destroys, so. Okay. Rather than See how this one works. Scrap iron sickle. I mean, it's cool that you get like different weapons and you know, items. Yeah. Could be cool if I can fling it with uh, this. I'm assuming I have to guide it this way. Nice, I can use a stone to attack. See you know what I mean? Like, if it doesn't fling you, it can be so far away from the enemy. Like, how am I supposed to hit them? I guess the bigger guys I can pull. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'd rather just the smaller enemies. Where do we get to that?
I'll just to explore it and finish the explore objective. I just need to find stone now. Like, where the heck is this stone? I'm not gonna hit this thing. I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, there we go. Again, I'm hitting that sparrow and it's not registering the hits. So I guess they have time to recover. Which is kind of a little unfair. But... Take it out. And I just bleed myself around, all around, trying to get to it. It's like, oh my. Finish the combo facing the enemy. Go up. Wow. Oh, okay. Not around. Turn. Oh, God, turn around. Oh, I can now go to the dinner things. Sweet. Yeah, so obviously clearing objectives for that specified area that I'm searching opens up other areas. Got it. Let me see my equipment. I need to kill some more demon pigs. Let's see if I can upgrade my stuff. I need to find stone though. Like I'm in the stone, like some stone cave, and it's just I'm like, not finding any stone. Just keep hitting these stupid things, or I'm confused. Like there should be a ton of stone in this area. You saw that on the right screen, right? Right side of the screen? Basket there. I need basket. Powder transformers. Transformation. Alright, so I want the damn things. Sweet. Alright, I'm just gonna do a little more and then I have to call it a stream. So, so I don't want to go over two hours this time. Now, what do I do with the food that I have, though, on my person? I have these items. How do I make something out of them? Hey, that's kind of mean, but yes. Oh, 
Oh, this thing. Jump on her? Oh, I can't jump on her. Eat oh, something? Menu. Okay. Okay, so now since I unlock this, now all the stuff won't go to waste. I mean, it is nighttime, so. I can Look at that menu. That's cool because they, it displays that they have a lot more food on the table now. What's up, Phil? How are you doing? Alright, so this is actually a, it's a pretty neat uh, combination, again, of like side-scrolling action, like 2.5D, um, stylized, and kind of, it's like a farm sim at the same time, like Harvest Moon or Rune Factory. And I want to see if these conversations would give you a hint as to what you're supposed to be doing. Either that, or they're just kind of flushing out the lore of the game. Vitality's up. HP went up. Natural healing, swift recovery. That's cool. Oh, oh here's Furo. Learn the fighting skill. That's so. Yes. Hmm. Understand. Okay, so I have to equip a skill first. This fundamentals. Oh, it's okay, so roundup with the Ryman, which is that kind of like rope looking thing or scarf looking thing. I kind of. It's basically like it looks like a hook shop. That's how it acts. This fundamental skill pulls a grapple opponent towards you, weakening them for a time. Oh my god. Uh. Fighting skills? Hey! Okay, so I've picked the fierce, fierce Furrow, which I just learned, is an in injurious man a maneuver of a tilling master. As your proficiency with the skill rises, so too shall its reach and repet repetition. Hmm. I guess that's us up. Uh, what are my quests right now? Alright, I didn't know that. Subquests. Martha Studious. The only the ingredients named to this island, it's tough for Martha to cook her home country's cuisine. She would like to start preparing meals using local ingredients. That's where I come from. They're almost they're getting there. Which is cool. The rice is uh growing. So go to the world map. And open the den of fangs, so let's go to the den of, den of fangs. Okay, clear the innermost area, mine fangs for stone. 
get an iron ore. Get treasure. Mask, okay. I wonder if I could see those objectives in uh, the pause menu there, because that would be pretty nice. Yes, I can. And then you can uh, switch between them. Isn't there, wait, hold on, isn't there like a button I can use to track it? Oh, there it was. No. I guess I can't track it, exploration quests? That's kind of silly. Okay. Oh, oh, there's... Yeah. Wait, why can I not break that? I just broke that. Okay, I guess not. I want to test out, test out these new skills, though. I wonder if I can hit them into that. So A is a special ability, special attack. I think it's just gonna use the control scheme. Huh. A little bit slow down here. Three minutes. Not so slow. Turn around. Turn around for God's sake. Oh, gotta be joking. I something I can eat, or something that can regain my health. Uh... Can I do that all over again? I guess I can't... I broke them before, though. That's confusing. I don't know how I did that, man. I hate when the enemies get up. I can't hit them. Well, at least they take damage from the environment. That's cool. Oh, 
Oh, I don't do the up attack here. Vicinity, they should automatically go to you. Okay, so, so basically, this is the easier path, but I want to see if I can get up this way. Ah, oh, I got the mask. Okay, that's the exploration objective. Yeah, some constant some some what, like copper, yeah. Or does it depend on how I hit the stone? The mining stone there. Okay, that's kind of BS right there. I, have to, I can't even get that. That's awful. Yeah, I broke it there. Jumped onto the screen and then just killed himself. <laughs> that was silly. Over here. What, what, where are you going? Focus on the enemy. Jeez. Huh. Down, down, down to his earth grotto I can now go through. Okay, so let me go to the quests. Get iron, iron ore. Mine things for stone. Okay, but... Put it all over again again? Set up like that. Mine things for stone. I'm trying to mine them for stone, but I can't. I don't know, unless they can tell me how. Oh, don't 
to the other side. Focus on the enemy, dude. Ugh. Hate when games don't do that. Focus on the freaking enemy, man. Can I help her, Jen? Okay, nice. There. Actually, let them kill themselves. <laughs> the enemies are so dumb in this. How do I even do that? Okay. Let me see my equipment. Oh, I can release the power. Yes. Oh, raise the attack, we're going back to 12. Sweet. Okay, so I release the uh, right weapon's power. I don't know how to mine the thing, so I'm assuming I can do that later. Go here, huh? Now let me go back to the wall map real quick. Alright, so this is the last thing I'm gonna do in the game. I'm gonna call it a stream. Uh, I'm just gonna check out the Bounties Earth Grotto. Yeah, I was about to say, this sounds like a place where you can acquire a lot of stuff. No. I got stone, copper or bean, garlic, piece of manure. Okay. Yeah, so the grotto, like I assume, was going to be something that I can. a place where I can gather things. Cool. Alright, so now I can get a blacksmith. Or build a blacksmith. I highly recommend switching to the analog control for this, and then when you're in the caves, use the D-pad. Highly recommend that. Leads.
I should let out some water? Just gonna pull on the leaves. I gathered all the materials, so now you can make a forge and probably craft some weapons or make them stronger. Thank you. Hmm. Wait, so where is Mr. Blacksmith? Where'd he go? something eat something oh you can just leave it somewhere like hit X she'll just pick things spend your time basically gathering as much stuff as you can in a day. Obviously. In mean, the game. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty good. I mean, I've played almost a couple hours of this game so far, the first couple hours, and, you know, it's 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 an interesting combo in terms, this is like obviously like a 3D area, exploration area, um, which is your home plot. Where you do the planting and the growing and the farm this is the farm sim portion. Or in the rice. And there are too many you know, raise raise here. lower the water, put water in it. I should let out some water. Um, the rain is obviously putting water in. So I gotta get the water out. Um yeah, the, the action portion is, you know, with certain games that do side-scrolling action, it still baffles me that modern games can't fix the issue of when you're locking on to an enemy or you're doing a combo or something, that if you go past the enemy, like the enemy's here, and then you're fighting here, you're still doing the combo this way, like, away from them. The game should automatically recognize, like, I need to keep attacking the enemy back this way, so if I'm fighting this way and I just hit them and I go through them, the combo still continues in this direction. It doesn't make any sense. So the game should automatically know, go like, oh, I'm facing the wrong way, turn around and, and attack them and finish the combo that way. Otherwise it's just a waste, a waste of momentum and button presses. Um, and open, leaves you open for attack. Um, basically leaves you defenseless, which is not cool. Um, so there's that. Uh... Yeah, other than that, it's actually, it flows pretty well. It's, the exploration is good. Um, you know, you complete objectives in each level. You know, when you complete specific areas and, like, take out all the enemies or complete a couple of objectives, it'll open and unlock another area for, area, yeah, area for you to explore. Um, you know, eating certain types of foods during dinner time, obviously eating dinner will, will complete the day for you. Um, or give you the option to complete the day. You can keep exploring or you can just, you know, sleep and go to the next day. Um, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a fun game for if you like the kind of like farm sim gathering type game that's, a, that's mixed with like a side scrolling action type thing. Um, it's an interesting take. The characters have different personalities, kind of play well against each other. Um, 
And I think the, the banter is, is quite interesting and funny. So, uh, Tom was my favorite character because he stick, keeps his tongue out and when he talks, his tongue goes back in his mouth, and then when he's done, his tongue, his tongue comes right back out. Really ridiculous and silly. Um, so, let's have dinner. And I think, I guess, you know, they, they banter during dinner, which is pretty cool. But I don't know if it gives away, if it updates lore about the game, or if it gives, like, you know, hints. Not quite sure. Some of like war and famine in the lofty realm. So I don't know if this is just random banter or or what during dinner. It's my only thing is this like okay so. And then once, you, once it's at the end, you just finish it, and then it shows you everything you got right there. Uh, your fullness matters because it gives you the, you know, the regeneration, health regeneration, SP, uh, MP regeneration, or SP generation, regeneration to do your special attacks and regain your health. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, after the, after that, you can get back to work or you can rest. So that's basically what Sukuna is uh, of Rice and Ruin. Um, it's fun. I, I recommend it. You know, it's just kind of mindless. You know, if it it's got a lot of story and a lot of banter. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of like a mindless thing. You just go attack, kill things, gather materials, go back to your your farmland, check on the rice, make some meals, make some uh, weapons and, and whatnot. So, there's a lot of things involved with the game, but it's not too difficult. Um, I just wish they explained a few things a little more, uh, such as like abilities and and whatnot, but other than that, you know, it's it's a fun game. So I, I recommend Sukuna of Rice and Ruin. Uh coming next week for Switch and PS4. So if you can grab it, go for it. If you're into like, you know, uh, Ruin Factory, Harvest Moon mixed with like Muramasa that side scrolling action uh platforming stuff, yeah, go for it. It's an interesting combination and I dig it. So anyway, I think that's enough for today. Uh and hopefully everybody stays safe. Be excellent to each other, and I will see you soon. Take care.